Hi there. I was going to be doing this video on um, Facebook Live, but unfortunately the Wi-Fi connection wasn't good enough and we were cut off, so that means I am recording this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> and what we are looking at is a vintage 19th century 15-gallon cast iron cauldron. Um, this has been in my storage for far too long, uh, and so I am now taking it out and seasoning it for use. Uh, I've been really looking for excuses to uh, you to uh, break out this cauldron and use it because you know I like to think it's a real beauty, um, but unfortunately those excuses seem to be few and far between. So this year I was determined to make my own excuse. It is October of 2020, and as you know, Halloween of 2020 happens to fall on a Saturday, and it happens to be a rare full moon. I think this is the first time and last time uh, we're going to have a full moon on a Saturday, Halloween, for uh, at least 20 years or more. <laughs> so, of course, this is a great excuse to bring out a, a genuine witch's cauldron and cook up a, a huge amount of a Halloween potion or in this case, jambalaya. <laughs> so um, we will be uh, getting ready to uh, make a, a big pot of uh, jambalaya in this cauldron uh, next weekend. And today we are just getting ready to do so. Now, um, as you can see from the markings, this says number 12 and it says 15 gallons. This cauldron was made by the Savory Company of Philadelphia. And in fact, let's go on a uh, guided tour around to the other side where you can see the actual marking there. It says, Savory and Company, Philadelphia. Uh, I did some research when I acquired this cauldron and I found that the Savory Company was in business from uh, the late 1700s up until uh, the late 1800s. So based on an average, I think we can safely say this cauldron is most likely from the early to middle 1800s. It certainly has the um, trademark look of a uh, 19th century cauldron, among other things. As you can see, it has very, very thick legs on the bottom. Likewise, it has very thick ears, and most importantly, the ears are flat top and not rounded. Um, while not all of the older um, 18th and 19th century cauldrons had flat top ears, most of them did, they mostly started making round ears for cauldrons and other cast iron pots later in the 19th century into the early 20th century. It definitely has a gate mark on the bottom, but um, I certainly can't turn it over now to show you that. <laughs> Not when uh, we've got a, a nice propane fire going here. Um, I measured the uh, temperature. The outside is uh, reaching something like uh, 700 degrees, so I'm being careful about that. Whereas on the inside, it is uh, just over 500 degrees, which is good because that means we are seasoning a new layer here. Now the inside of this, I will admit, is uh, rather was rather pitted, which I think is one reason why I got this for what I consider to be a really affordable price at the Brimfield Antique Show. This was one of those um, once in a lifetime type of uh, deals that was offered to me, and I knew that I, if I said no to this, I would be kicking myself for the rest of my life. And that's why I took the uh, step and ended up with a genuine 15 gallon cast iron cauldron. So yes, I am uh, quite happy with this. <laughs> so anyway, all we are doing is using a uh, combination of beeswax and lard to season the inside. Yeah, I made this in imitation of Crisby. I mean, it's, I don't know what the actual formula for Crisby is, but um, this uh, seems to work pretty well because of course all we have to do is just that, burn or carbonize a uh, new layer of seasoning on the inside. And I figure after maybe a little less than an hour of running at this temperature, 
Uh, this thing should be uh, well seasoned on the inside and we should be ready for cooking. However, I'm not going to end this on a down note because I'm just too excited right now that I'm going to be using this cauldron for the first time in a while. <laughs> My plan is to uh, head out to a very scenic uh, area and make a huge batch of uh, jambalaya in this uh, vintage 15 gallon cauldron. That is certainly one of the best ways I can think of to celebrate Halloween. How about you?